Hey, so real briefly, we're just going to take a look at getting started with uh, the data loader. So the way that you can, what is a data loader? It's pretty much what the name implies. It's a tool that you use to load data and also to remove data as well as to update data in mass, so you know, large bulks of data, things that you don't want to do by hand or on a one-up basis. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is download our friend the data loader. So I'm in setup, so I just setup, and then I'm going to type in the words data loader, and here it is. And this is part you only need to do once. You just want to download it onto your desktop. So you just follow the user interface, click download, you know, follow it depending upon your browser, follow the instructions and then you will have installed it. And when you install it, this is what it looks like. And if I haven't logged in yet, I'll hit insert and it'll ask me for my username and password. So my username uh, in this instance, it's right here, I just had it in my cursor, and I would enter my password. And you might think that that's enough, but the truth is, for Salesforce, it's very security conscious. It's actually not enough. You're also going to need to append your security token. And the good news is, you really only need to uh, do this once, and then it will remember it. So I say, well, security token, where do I get that? So I'm going here to uh, my name. In your instance, it clearly will be your name. And then we'll, can, we'll go to my settings. And again, I'm, you know, a little lady, lazy, so I'm going to use that search tool, and I'm going to start typing in token. So I just did TO, and I get this little, it's highlighted right there, reset my security token, and then I just go, ahead and go ahead and press that button. And then what happens is I get an email that has my security token in it. So here is my email. I did this kind of ahead of time. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that into my cursor. And I did find uh, when I was doing this work on a regular basis that I was coming back to this uh, email again and again. So I threw it into a particular folder. Perhaps I could have just thrown it into a text file and put it on my desktop if I wasn't worried about security. So there we go. I have that copied. And I'm going to go back to our friend Data Loader and I'm going to pen that after my password with no spaces. And I'm going to click login, and it's going to verify that it's valid. And it says log login successfully completed. I'm going to hit next, and our next.